Hi, I'm Vic and welcome to Geeko Farm, where we do things differently. And this time we are going to be doing things a little bit more differently than usual. Because my face up here does not look uh, as ugly as usual, it's even worse. Uh, don't worry, we'll explain why in a later episode. So I thought I'd cover my wallet. I've been using this for a long time. Um, cards go in there, one slides in across the top. Uh, problems though, sharp corners, it's getting a bit grotty, uh, and the top card can get bent and destroyed, particularly ones with these little chips in. So, I went and designed myself a new wallet, which takes all the cards, and I put the design up on my printables account, so you can all download and use if you wish. However, this little wallet has a few secrets. Normally, you wrap it in paracord, like this, and cards go in, so I would uh, prefer to use Titan Survivor Cord, which has, as well as the usual stuff, it's got a piece of uh, waxed jute, which is great for fire lighting, some ordinary fishing line, uh, which fishes can't see, as well as the paracord strands, um, and there's a piece of uh, fine snare wire, in there as well. So handy stuff, you can look it up on Google or DuckDuckGo or whatever. But for today we'll be using the red paracord here because it shows up well. This wallet has a few hidden features. What we'll do is we'll take it down and we'll show them to you. Well that's it taken apart as you can see and expect. There's uh, about two meters of paracord here and uh, the case has ridges for you to wrap the paracord around. It also has a small hole in the top there into which one can put a pin because pins are remarkably useful things and you can also hook it out with your thumbnail. Alright, I use them not for getting splinters out of my hands. Anyway, uh, what else has this thing got that's weird? Well, it's got a false bottom. Of course, you can't see it at the moment because I've got it in my hand. Uh, this has a couple of little pivot points on it. And there's a cavity in there which is just big enough for me to put a day's worth of my medication, which I won't show you because in New Zealand, theoretically, you're not supposed to put your medication in anything other than the container it was supplied in. Anyway, so what we do is we get this uh, little false bottom and we put it in there like that and we get it as flat as we can and push it into place like that. And then when you push down in this corner, hard enough, the other end pops up revealing your secret compartment. Well, hidden, it's not really a secret, I've told everybody. So. Put it down like that, doesn't fall out because there's a little detent notch, uh, uh, notch in there. This thing, by the way, broken dentist tool, got it free from my dentist, thank you very much. Alright, so there it is, how on earth do you wrap this thing? Well, these grooves here have little ridges in, so if you take your paracord and you thrust it through the hole here, and then you bend it into those grooves. So, when you wrap your wallet with the paracord, making sure it goes in the grooves and is stretched tight, uh, you can cover the wallet. So, um, stretching paracord, by the way, paracord does stretch, as anyone who has ever made a uh, bowstring from paracord will tell you. So, you may have to wrap your wallet again after you had it in service for a few days to make sure the paracord remains nice and taut. Okay, so what's he going to do when he gets to the end? Okay, so what he's going to do is, you see that groove on the back there? Well, I'm going to poke this paracord through that hole there so it comes out on this side. And then paracord has now gone around a few right angles and uh, it's not inclined to come out and to 
retain it while we do the same thing as we had done with the other side. I'll just use my handy dandy dental tool to poke it around underneath there. Like that, and I've got some handy widgets over here as well, which will allow me to. Uh, you can just poke it through with a credit card, but I'm on video, so I don't want to bugger around too much. And yeah, we'll get it in there. And then just put that cord into that notch here, like that, and that will lock it in place. Big stack of cards, by the way, make sure you don't have anything with a signature area on it next to uh, a plastic card a card holder because uh, it will scratch it off and make it look like you've got a forged card. And then we just put that lot in there. There's a couple of tiny little nibs sticking out there and there and also there and there which prevent the cards from falling out when it's upside down. Anyway, I thought you might want a look at that. Like I say, um, you can download the plans for this on printables.com. This one holds 10 cards. Uh, I'll put the uh, URL in the bit below. And uh, you can print one and enjoy it. But for now, that's your lot down on Geeko Farm.